Hello, welcome to today's edition of City News Daily on City TV with me, Zoe Abu Beidu. In this edition, West African Examination Council makes arrangements for the over 200 BECE candidates to be placed in senior high schools this year. We have details of this and many more coming up shortly. The West African Examination Council, WAEC, has resolved to place the over 200 BEC candidates in Bumpugu in the northern region in various senior high schools, even though they were unable to write the English and RME papers this year. WAEC had earlier suggested the candidates would have to reset the papers next year and miss out on continuing their education. But a child rights organization sued Wayek after that pronouncement. Speaking to City News Daily, the public relations officer for Wayek, Agnes Taekuju, said after serious considerations, the over 200 students will be placed in high schools under a special arrangement. Meanwhile, Child Rights International says although the news is welcoming, they will still await the court's ruling on the matter. Meanwhile, the West African Examination Council has released the provisional results of the 2017 Basic Education Certificate Examination, BECE. According to the council, it is in the process of dispatching the results of over 460,000 candidates to the schools via the municipal and district directors of education. The Examination Council in their statement also announced the withholding of results of 1,298 candidates due to suspicions of examination malpractice. These candidates were found to have cheated in the objective test section of the examination by the Item Differential Profile IDP software. In a related development, Thousands of senior high school graduates risk missing out on entering various tertiary institutions this year because WAEC has failed to release their results. This is because the examination body is yet to conclude investigations into alleged malpractices which affected over 180 schools across the country. The headmaster of one of the affected schools who spoke to City News on condition of anonymity accused Wayek of being evasive about the said investigations. But Wayek has since dismissed the allegations, insisting that they have been communicating with the affected schools. Away from education, let's do some politics now. And even before the National Democratic Congress, the NDC, will emerge from its post-election wrangling. Supporters of former Trades Minister Equal Spiel Gabra are rallying behind him. Following a report suggesting he will not contest for flag bearership in the 2018 elections. But the former minister has given the strongest indication he will contest the position. According to his spokesperson, Kweku Teria Ampa, reports suggesting he has abandoned his desire to lead the party in the 2020 elections are false and must be disregarded. Speaking to City News Daily, the spokesperson said his boss will contest even if former president Mahama makes a comeback. Now, a former Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Professor Ajman Bedu Akosa, has lauded the idea of a quota system for the recruitment of medical doctors and nurses into the public service. He says such a system will ensure an even distribution of essential personnel across the country. The Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Anthony Isian Asari, announced the policy over the weekend. He said prospective doctors would now have to apply to be interviewed and posted on the basis of a quota formula. Speaking to City News Daily on the matter, Professor Akosa said the policy is long overdue. Meanwhile, the Ghana Medical Association 
has supported the idea. Many thanks for your time. That's all we have for today on City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu. <laughs>